Tonight we're showcasing the work of some of Canada's most promising new artists. This year marks the 13th anniversary of BMO First Art Invitational Student Art Competition and we're delighted to be presenting the winning pieces for 2015 for the first time at the Justina Barnicky Gallery. The definition of dysmorphia is about something is wrong with your human body. It's about someone like falling apart, things are coming apart, almost kind of chakra feeling way to bring balance back into it. So it's constantly evolving as I'm working on it, um, but it's always revolving around the original topic. Uh, it's pretty exciting. Um, I was a little nervous today to see the work and see it installed, but I'm really happy with everything and it's really amazing to be surrounded by so many talented other artists. There are some items that I've pulled from family photo albums and um, items that I grew up with and I've kind of contrasted that with items and scenarios that are clearly impossible, like specifically the size and stacking of the bags on their backs. Some are archival historical images. Being our first art winner feels like a great uh, a step in career. My dad had open heart surgery that fall, um, and so I made all of these little um, ceramic and textile hearts. And it's really nice to have some validation for a work that was really, really personal for me. I titled it Freedom Flag because uh, just prior to producing this piece, I, I came out uh, to my friends, family, my kids, um, everybody. And because it was such a positive experience and it, it just completely freed me. Makes me feel like everything's worth it, you know, all of the hours that I spent on this painting and the other paintings that belong in the series. Um, it really just, oh, it was worth it and it's a very, I'm very honored to be here, it's very exciting. As we celebrate the 13th year of First Art, to date we've had 172 winners and the competition has awarded them over $510,000. Many of the winning submissions explored experiences that relate to gender, identity, family, and community. Perhaps the only big statement you can say about these works is they're all ambitious and singular pieces that signify a point of experiment and departure for their makers. My piece is called Flight of the Peacock. It represents peacock feathers. The pendant is the tail part. Um, and then the feathers that come up along the side, they are, they are famous landmarks from the same place, in the same city, but from the different times. And uh, the contrast between them is really interesting. And the, the combination of the, of the Western and the Eastern like, architectures together my access to art and the people that are, I guess, in, involved in contemporary art nowadays is very, very limited. So being able to be here and make those connections with other emerging uh, young artists and uh, as well as like prominent figures within the art world is super uh, important to me. I built it in suspension, so I stretched this, like, I kind of knotted up this matrix of metal, pulled it apart with rope, and so it was in suspension in a fixed space. And then on the surface, I used encaustics, which is like pigmented beeswax. Yeah, to be a BMO First Art winner uh, was very, very exciting and it's been wonderful to be here meeting all the other artists who've won. They're extremely talented. I had focused on creating the jingles, putting it into a uh, performance, um, and creating a dress out of it. I started learning the dance again. Um, jingle, which uh, comes from the Ojibwe culture. An elder had a dream that he would actually heal his sick granddaughter, and that's the journey that this work is about, is reconnecting uh, with the culture, with the land, with my family, and teaching others along the way while learning from them as well and, and their culture. <laughs> 